Hello everyone, Cesare here with more Dragon Quest 7. As you can see, here we are. We are currently in All Trades Abbey. Cesare's looking spiffy as a luminary. He's all four. Ruff just got the job of lips. Mervyn is a level 7 serial quiller. And Aish is a level 5 music box. Well, mimic, but you know. I'm pretty sure Mervyn's very close to finishing Serial Quiller, so we're gonna be swapping that off very soon. Hello, Wintrigue. That said, we finished off in the Beacon yesterday in uh, the Buckingham area, so but we didn't actually go and turn in any of the quests or anything like that. So let's go back to Buckingham. Hello, silly! How's it going, everyone? Alright, let's see here. We got a blue, we got Buckingham. It's probably gonna be quite a bit of story today. I would imagine. Get out of here. Oh, sorry, how wonderful it is to see you back in one piece. Please go on through. Music's still sad here. What's up with that? Welcome to Buckingham, the floating city. Rumor has it that it won't be long before the world is brought is world is bright and peaceful once again. So we'll have to thank you for that, won't we, Sasray? <laughs> You're not just brave or heroic. You're inspirational. I thought I'd lost my appetite for adventure until I met you. My boys come back. I can't believe it. Thank you for not giving up on us, Sasray. Not only have you brought our son back, you've also taught us to abandon, not never to abandon hope. Thank you so much. Yeah, if any of your kids were killed, I'm sorry, but I went on a month monster hunting spree. In that tower. This three illness of mine cleared up pretty much as soon as my boy came back. Which is good, because I won't have time, time to sit around feeling sorry for my thousands he's here. I mean, look how big Vicky's grown. Where did I go? And, Mommy, Daddy, what happened? Buckingham remains sealed off from the world, but this is a joyous occasion nonetheless. The Demon King may cause us great pain and suffering, but he can never take away our capacity for happiness. I think we probably just have to light the lighthouse in town here. That makes sense to me. Oh, the camera's really zoomed in in this room. Thank you for the host intrigue. Praise be to the Almighty, oh praise be! I don't understand why everyone's crying. The new baby only went out to stay with some relatives. Anyway, now the baby's back. We can play together. Hooray! Oh, look, look, our, our baby, our baby has come back to us! You went and cleared the monsters out of the beacon, didn't you? Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. My baby! My baby has come back to me! Oh, thank you! Thank you so much! Sob. I always knew you had it. it what it took? No, all you need to do is restore the guiding light to the beacon. Once that's done, the darkness will be driven out and the seal dropping us from the rest of the world will be lifted. Not long now. Stomach is upset. Oh no.
I need to apologize to you. I failed to recognize you for the hardened worries that you clearly are. I know I said some rude things, but please forgive me. I should have just trusted in His Majesty's judgment from the get-go. You said rude things? Now all that remains is to restore the guiding light to the beacon, and the strange force sealing Buckingham off from the rest of the world to be lifted. I just know it. If you take care of that, we'll take care of the palace security. Well, isn't that your job anyway? And this has been missing Captain Shark Eye terribly these last few days. I only hope she hasn't gotten done anything stupid. The children may have returned to us, but this is not the end of our woes, it seems. I only hope that Lady Anis is safe and well. Ah, there you are. All back in one piece, I see. In ordinary circumstances, of course, this would be a time for feasting and celebrations, but I'm afraid something has come up. It's an is. She's disappeared from the palace. She left a note telling us not to worry, but I can't help but think she may have been abducted by monsters in retaliation for what you did up at the beacon. Which is why we need to fetch the guiding light from Emberdale. Restore light to the beacon, and blow the darkness from this land once and for all. It may not seem the most obvious plan of action, but I believe that doing so will relinquish the monster's grip on Buckingham. And then it's... It's strange me to have to ask another favor of you, Sassai, but I simply do not have a choice. I have prepared the following document for you. Sassai receives Buckingham's palace. Uh, bless it. Buckingham's palace. <laughs> Presented to the gaffer in Bavemberdale, uh, he will grant you access to the guiding light. Do not ask how I know that you, and you alone, can make it there, but I do. My subjects and I will continue to search for a nest while you are gone. Alright, well, thank you for not, uh, challenging my authority. What? Why is there a cat there? hallway is full of strange things. Like yesterday it had that bard that randomly disappeared. Look at my team of monsters following me. I'm no intermediate monsters yet. I think the only ones I've had are um, Drake Slime and uh, Malevolentron. You made her some set, upset? It's always you, basically? Well, I hope that's not true. At least you can still do the pizza roll. Oh, sorry about that. Anyway, at least you can still do the pizza roll, Wintry. Go up to the gaffer in the past or in the present? Yeah, look, it's Emberdale. It's been so long since we were here. Hey, you want to walk with the gaffer? He's upstairs. Hey, up to rest, are you? Well, welcome to Emberdale. Now, I'm afraid we don't have much to, to have too much in the way of attractions, but we'll be putting that right soon enough. We've got big plans for this place, you see. Shops, restaurants, entertainment, you can barely imagine. Now then, well, was there was something you wanted? Guide and light, eh? I'll be honest with you, it don't mean much to me, but there's some folks in the village who take it very seriously. I can't let you take any of it unless you've got a good reason to. Now well then, what do we have here? King Buckingham, eh? Very impressive. Well, this all seems above board. Rato, you've got me permission to take a bit. Finally enough, funnily enough, if it, it, it were just a few moments ago, I gave another tourist permission to take some of the garden light. I'd go talk to him if I were you. He'll tell you what to do. 
Station. Folks keep saying that this fire is something special because it came from the Father of the Flame, but it looks just like any other fire if you ask me. Still, I bet you can make a red tasty jack eat potato on a day. See, I love a good festival. I get right worked up about them. I'm Dora, Madam Palmer's assistant. Please don't hesitate to ask me if you have any questions about the services we offer. Mm, customers, right? Oh, let's be having you. No need to be scared of Auntie Palmer. Huh? I suppose you'll be wanting their fortune telling. Is it? Let's tech again there then. What's going on here? I can't see that. I'm sensing Summit, though. Summit that's coming from you. Some kind of strange power. Like it's not. That's what's getting in the way of me fortune telling. Great, that's your lot. Now then, me fee. Tell you what, I'll give you a special one time only discount. Just five gold coins. Come on, cough up. Ta, very much. Drop by again if you want more insights into uh, the mysteries of the future. Makes sense you didn't tell me anything, you shit. My kid is looking very dapper. Hey, no worries, silly. Honestly, bounds these days. It's like they're clean. Forgot about the father of flame. It's a great mistake. It's a great sorry state of affairs. And no mistake, I prefer it when folks are pious and reverential and whatnot. Uh, maybe this guy knows who the tourist is? Is it this guy? You got permission from the gaffer, did you? Great. Let me give you a little bit of guiding light then. Here we go. Sasser receives the guiding light. I put it in the bag. Now everything has ignited. I'm sure this is the last pillar, or the last island. At least I seem to recall it being the last island. Luminary Satsai is pretty awesome. Seeing Harmony's run away is hilarious.
Do I just take this to the beacon, or... Can I take this to the lighthouse? Oh, yeah, through the lighthouse is open now, so... As I said, I was at the book sale. So I'm doing particularly interesting books. The bed. Have you come to talk to me about an ace? I don't know anything. I just had that maid ask me if I went into their bedroom in the middle of the night. Do I not look like someone who'd do that, honestly? Anyway, never mind that. Can you fetch the guy the knife from Emmerdale yet? That's the flame you need to take up to the beacon so that Buckingham can get back to normal. You know, Philly doesn't let us show, but it's really tragic the way the lighthouse keeper lost his son. The boy insists on carrying on his work as the keeper of the beacon, you see. Even when more and more monsters started appearing, and King Buckingham himself tried to get him to stop. I couldn't do that. I'd be far too scared. Okay, so... Alright, so I think I have to go north to the beacon and past all those monsters again. That's alright, all of them run away anyway, so it's all good. We will, however, be fighting the liquid metal slimes. Beacon was this big tower up here to the north, if you recall. Oh man, the most annoying part is going to be going through that damn fucking moving floor puzzle. Not this guy. Bugglers! Liquid metal slimes. So I like the XP that they give. Hey, Black Trife, how's it going? Thank you very much for the host, my friend. I'm pretty good. My uh, ear is kind of sore today for some reason, but other than that, I'm fine. Fireball! How's it going? Long time no see. What you been up to? It's all good. I don't mean to do that. Oh, well, there's liquid metal slime in the fight, so maybe, maybe it won't run away, and uh, that executioner won't uh, dazzle flash me. This is where I was hunting last night while you were streaming, uh... Black Drive. Oh, he's stuck around. Oh, look at that, I got it! And now I'm gonna miss this a bunch of times. And now he does the flash, isn't he? Okay. Nothing big to speak of? Well, that's okay. How have you been? Hey, look at that level up. Ruff's level goes up. He's at 44. HP goes up by 11. MP by 4. 3 strength, 2 agility, 1 resilience, 1 wisdom, and 0 style. And probably Sir Mervyn. Yep, level 43. HP goes up by 6. MP by 6. 2 strength, 2 agility, 2 resilience, 2 wisdom, and 1 style. Yep, well, I'm not hunting them now, but 
I just happened to be in the area where they are and ran into a monster that uh, had them in the battle. If I see one out on the map, though, I'll run and, and fight it. That's good. Have you played Dragon Quest VII Fireball? That's how a fight with these guys usually goes. They're usually just like, fuck all this, and see ya. Then they take off. Damn it. Damn platforms are gone now. Builds a lighthouse like this. I feel like not much thought was put into the building of this lighthouse. Reminds me of the Ritter and a Cataract from Final Fantasy XII. Never played any of them? Aw oh, man! You're missing out, these games are actually pretty excellent. I swear to god. Oh god. So that's right, lights the beacon using the flame from the guiding light. Just toss that in there. Yeah, look at that. Well, I mean, like, it's so inconvenient to get up to the top. Accessory! Accessory! You... you did it! We were out searching for Ness when suddenly everything went bright, and there were no monsters anywhere to be seen. We came here as fast as we could, clearly, because you're here already. And it's true, the guiding light is burning in the beacon once again. The darkness is gone, and it looks like we're not sealed off from the world anymore either. You've done quite s you've done so much for us, and we've been thinking of a way to thank you, and... Hey, we're not supposed to talk about that until we get back to the palace. So let's not waste any more time here. Come on, let's go home. Oh yes, of course. We need to use the guiding light uh, to fire up the palace lighthouse as well. Did you guys get hazard pay for traversing this fucking lighthouse? There. Now if you'd be so good as to follow us back to the palace. Come on, everybody. Really? Aw oh, man, I don't have to walk all the way back? That's awesome. You better go straight in, Sasai. The king is waiting for you. Everyone's waiting for you, in fact. Oh, and would you mind taking that to the guiding light up the rest of the way of the lighthouse? Thanks. Look, it's Sasai and his friends, our heroes and saviors! The sensation of elation is almost as though Captain Shark Guy himself has returned. Thank you so much for everything you've done. We love you, Cesare. Thank you. Thank you all so much. We'll never forget what you've done for us. Cesare, everyone. Since the time when our kingdom was sealed off from the world and plunged into darkness, we had nearly given up hope so many times. If it hadn't been for Shark Eye and his crew's indomitable example, 
I have no doubt we would have succumbed to despair many years ago. I cannot help but think that they were sent to us in order to, that we might remain strong until our true saviors finally appeared. You. On behalf of all the citizens of the Kingdom of Buckingham, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. I have thought long and hard about how to repay you, and I have come to the conclusion that this will be the most fitting reward. It is the legendary sword passed down from one captain of the sea dragon to the next. Shokai left it in my care when he set out before his final battle, that it might be used in defense of his wife and unborn child. Until now, I had not met one whom de I deemed worthy of such a weapon, but in you I have undoubtedly found such a person. And I have no doubt that Ines would agree with me, wherever she may be. I hereby present you with the Sea Serpent Blade. Sea Serpent Saber, sorry, not Blade. Hey, cool, is that better than what I'm using? Probably is. And all that remains is to rekindle the light us atop the palace and... K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-K-
That's not Scooby, that's an imposter. Perhaps I failed to grasp the depths of Anissa's love for Shark Guy. Still, we must heed her message. We must not feel sorry for her. She's taken her fate in her own hands, and it's time we did the same. The palace lighthouse must be lit. Come, Cesare, this way. They're offering their baby up to the beacon. That is the worst dance ever. The celebration lasts late into the night, and when they finish, the people Buckingham slept so or sleep soundly for the first time in years. Then morning comes. You gotta love these Dragon Quest transitions. It seems the time has come for us to say goodbye, though I doubt this will last, this is the last we'll be seeing of each other. You are, of course, more than welcome to visit Buckingham whenever you like. Incidentally, it strikes me that I have told you very little about Shark Eye. You must be curious to know more about him. I beg your pardon, my chief minstrel told you everything you needed to know? But, I did not employ a minstrel. I did, of course, a long time ago. He was a fine man and a talented magician, but he fell ill and died many years back. But of course, you are blessed with powers beyond those of ordinary humans. My old friend must have visited you, you in a dream. In any case, the most important thing I wish to say to you today is simply this. Thank you. Your name shall live on in the legends of my kingdom for all time. And not only here in Buckingham, but I believe the dwarves also have reason to be grateful to you. Perhaps you should pay them a visit before you leave. Your example has made us realize that we must teach our soldiers to be strong and self-sufficient in the future. We can no longer afford to rely on the others to protect us. We may not have the luxury of monsters attack again. You've also taught us that we must never give up hope, and that it is a priceless lesson indeed. You know, the thing about Dragon Quest VII's world, with the exception of the Rucker's Kingdom, none of these people, kingdoms really have shown any military might. I guess the ones fighting off the robots there in Faraday. So, you don't have to worry about many kingdoms in, uh, in uh, Invading other kingdoms. Alright, let's go check out the. Uh, oh, okay, I guess we're fighting this. I should probably equip my new sword, too. Reset my recording. Let's equip the new side first, though. Oh, yeah, that's a big upgrade. There we go. Okay, and now Miracle Sword. Can that go to anyone? Well, Aish, you have way better attack than Sir Mervyn, so we're gonna give it to Sir Mervyn. There you go. Alright, so we're gonna go take a visit to the, uh, the wars. In the meantime, I will stop my recording. <laughs> 